Sasha here. Um, today we are going to be learning this really cool Aztec mask. Um, you guys may have noticed we've done a lot of desert themes lately and there will be five in this series so after this you will have two more. So for the supplies that I'm using I have white paper. It can be regular old printer paper. You can use whatever paper you have. I have a pencil with an eraser. I have a black marker. It does not have to be Sharpie. And I have a regular old bag of colored pencils. Um, same with before, if you don't have these same supplies, you can use whatever you do have. Um, crayons, markers, if you wanna use watercolor instead, you can do that and just follow along. So before we get started, I just wanna um, let you guys know you will be doing this part in pencil. Um, I will be using my marker just so that you can see it on the camera better. But for your pencil lines, make sure you are drawing very lightly. Um, do not draw really hard into the paper because if you make a line you don't like, you wanna be able to erase that later. So for our first step, for you guys, it's going to be a big U shape in the middle of your paper, but again, because I am using my marker first, I'm going to leave a space here, but you guys can just make a big U. And then if I'm moving too quickly, remember you can always pause or rewind as you need to. So this is our mask's face, and then we're going to do his mouth next. You can see I did a happy mouth here. I think I'm gonna do more of an oval shape this time. And you can make your mouth frowny, you can make it look surprised, you can make it happy, however you want yours to look. And then we're gonna stick a tongue down here, just another U. And then inside the mouth shape I did, I'm gonna make the same shape, just a little smaller. I'm gonna make my tongue continue up into there. And then on the tongue, you can put any pattern or design you want. You can see on this one, I have a teardrop shape. And this one, I think I'm gonna do stripes. And then around the mouth, we're gonna put just some lines. And you guys can get as detailed with this as you want. I just want you to remember that you are going to be coloring it in, so be mindful of that. And then we're gonna add some teeth. Your teeth can be square, they can be triangles, they can be round. I'm gonna do these ones round. I'm just putting those on the top. And we're gonna move on to the eyes. They're just two big circles. And when you guys are drawing circles, instead of moving just your wrist, try moving your whole arm. It'll help you get a more even shape. So two circles, and then I'm gonna put two more circles inside of those. And they don't have to be perfect. You can see that mine are not perfect. And inside the eyes, we're gonna pick a shape and put it in there. I did flowers on the last one. I think I'm gonna do stars. And if you guys want to draw your stars like this and erase the lines, you can do that. Since I have marker, I have to do it without the lines in the center. And then up here, at the top of his head, we're gonna put a very slightly curved line. <clears throat> and I'm gonna make it stick out a little on each side. And then it sticks 
up a little. A little more than that. And we're gonna follow the same line we just made. And then right above his eyes, I'm gonna do a swirl sticking out that way. And then a line like that. And that's an eyebrow. Same thing over here, a swirl sticking out this way. And a line like that. If you want your eyebrows to be more square or pointy, you can do that. It's your art. And then right here, I'm going to pretend there's a whole line going across, but you can see I'm picking up my marker, moving my hand, and putting it back down. So it's kind of an even line there. And I'm going to do the same thing right here. I'm not drawing through my eyes, but if you do remember you have an eraser, you can erase that. And then right under here, I'm going to do this shape for his nose. If you want your nose wider or a slightly different shape, you can do that. And on the sides of his head, he's got two ears. They can be as big or as small as you want them. I made mine kind of big. Inside that, I'm just going to follow the same shape. And then one more time. Like a little rainbow on each side. And I'm going to give him some fun earrings here. Just big candy cane shapes. And then up top here, I'm going to start a line here and a line here. And then I'm going to connect them. And this is the bottom part of his crown down here. And then right here, we're drawing a line out this way. I'm gonna line out this way. And they're not completely straight and they don't have to be even. And I'm gonna bring that down this way and same on the other side. And then in here, I'm gonna add some stripes. I'm gonna do the same thing on both sides, but you guys can make yours different if you want. I'm gonna do another stripe here. Remember, whatever you make, you're gonna be coloring in. So if you don't wanna color a ton of detail, then don't make a ton of detail. Make it a triangle shape. Same thing over here. And then up top for his crown, we're gonna have five big shapes. These ones are flat on top. You can make them pointy, you can make them round. I think I'm gonna make these ones more round. The middle one is the biggest. And then we get a little smaller. And a little smaller again. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And then in between them, I'm just going to draw some lines to connect them. And if you guys want to add more little bumps around here, you can. You can add little pointy shapes, or you can leave it plain, however you want yours to look. And I'm just gonna do that in the middle one. And then I'm gonna add a pattern in this part here. I'm going to do this kind of half square pattern all the way across. You guys can do whatever pattern or shape you want, or you can leave it plain. That's totally up to you. And then up here, I'm just going to add some stripes going across this one.
If you guys are noticing that you are smudging your pencil lines as you go, um, it's okay. Just wait till you're done with the pencil and then erase those. If you're drawing lightly, that shouldn't be an issue. And then in here, in these big crown shapes we have, um, we're going to pick a pattern and we're gonna put it in there. You can do flowers, you can do stars, triangles, zigzag stripes, however you want it. I'm gonna do some zigzags. Do it in the other ones too. And then after that, I'm going to just make an extra little line with my connecting lines here. And again, these are just extra details. If you don't want that much detail, you don't have to have it. Um, and then I'm gonna do some lines in here. flower shape in the earrings. And if there's anywhere that I'm not adding details that you want some, go ahead and add those now. And then we are going to start coloring. So I'm gonna start with the mouth and I'm just gonna use different reds and pinks. So just make sure whatever colors you choose to use that you don't put the same color next to each other. Um, at least don't do it a lot because it will make it stand out a little less. It just stands out a little better when you have different colors next to each other. If you color out of your lines a little bit, don't worry about that. It's not a big deal. And for his teeth, I'm going to pick a yellowy color just so they kind of stand out more from the pinks and reds. can use whatever colors you want. Just again, make sure you're putting um, at least different shades next to each other. Oh, broke that one. I also have a pencil sharpener here. 
just a simple little one in case I break my pencils. Whatever I'm doing in one eye, I'm doing the same in the other, but you guys can make yours different if you want. After that, I'm going to pick a color for the face. I think I'm going to do purples. So his eyebrows, his nose, his ears, and his face. I'm going to do all those in, I have three different shades of purple. Actually, I have four. So I'm just going to pick a purple and get started. After that, I'm going to work on the crown, and I'm mostly going to be using these three different yellows, but I'm also going to pick another color. I think I'm going to add this nice blue in there for some of the details.
pick another color. I think I'm gonna go with green. I'm gonna do the stripes here green. And those are green as well. I'm gonna take yellow again. I'll color in bigger parts of this, just not my little detail stripes. Do my earrings in yellow too, so they look like gold. And I'm gonna take my detail colors again, the blue and the green. I'm gonna color in some details. This triangle. I'm gonna go in this part here. I'm gonna use a dark blue and a red. I'm just gonna alternate colors. And then once you are done coloring, if you have any messy lines out here you want to erase, go ahead and do that. And then use your black marker. Remember, it does not need to be Sharpie. Go ahead and outline all the details. If there's anything you don't like, just don't outline it and it won't show up. And then go ahead and sign your work. I hope you guys enjoyed that lesson. If you did, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. And I just wanna point out, these are both different. I made them both, they're both really cool. Um, your art's always going to be different than mine. It's gonna be different than your friends and that is a good thing. Um, if you wanna have your parents email in pictures of your art, I love to see what you guys make. And if you have any suggestions or requests, let us know and I'll see you later.